1911 Amundsen vs Scott. I decided to revisit this game because I did some um, errors regarding the movement when I did the playthrough of the base game. The way back uh, I played accurate as far as I, I, I've understood. But let me show you. So this is the road, the trip to the South Pole. And what I did wrong was when we talk about movement, I said that in order to move from one spot to another, in this case from a green to a blue, you needed to play a blue card. And while that is correct, what I didn't understand was that, that uh, you could play any blue card. That means that this crevasse card is a blue card and you can play it for its blue effect, meaning you can move on it. And you can even, as Scott, or this is Amundsen actually, but as Scott, you could even play a dog for its blue effect to move from a green spot into a blue spot. So uh, Amundsen can still use the dogs for its wild card effect. So you can decide when he plays it if it's a wild card effect or if it's a blue effect. Wild card, it's any color. The horses here have the same effect as the dogs, only Scott is the only one that can use the horses for its wildcard effect. Almonds and the dogs, but both players can use these for the color effects. And also with these special cards, it ha it, this is a blue card, so it will have a blue. You can move, you can use it as a movement. And this is a good weather card, but it's yellow, so you can use it uh, as a yellow movement. Okay, so that was the error I made, and and while. Uh, uh, so can, it can seem like a small error, it actually has significant influence on the game flow. Time I will replay the game to show you how it flows now when played properly. It flows even better and quicker. So now the game is set, I will spend Michael Bjornsson and Scott and Amundsen will start in space 1. Scott starts on the boat, they will get one card each and we will have a look at the offering. Also. Amundsen always goes first. Okay, so let's see here. And he has a dog, but he will instead he will draw this dog. And so to Scott, he will discard and draw these two wild cards, of course. Amundsen is playing the dog and he moves and he has moved across the 75th parallel. So we will flip the first weather card, roll a die and that is stable weather. And you can see by this symbol, no it's sunny weather, so you can see by the symbols here that each player gets to draw one card. Okay, so one card for Amundsen and one for Scott. And Scott is going. Uh, he will play these blue footprint play cards and move to the first step. Amundsen. Okay. Back to Scott. Scott needs a yellow card. There is no yellow card, but he will play his horse instead. Catching up on Amundsen. Amundsen will play this green card. And it's back to Scott. He will draw. Amundsen plays the red card. Oh, look at him go. Scott is following as best he can. Amundsen is throwing. Just bunkering up now. And um, Amundsen is moving again. Come on, Scott, 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 Scott. Mm. He places horse for the blue card. 
Amundsen. He goes across the 80 at first. That means more weather. 3. What does 3 mean? Stable weather. 3 means stable weather. Stable weather is first player, which is Amundsen, gets to draw one card. And he gets to take one of the cards from the offering, and he's taking. I don't know, taking the other one, and Scott gets the other two, and we'll refill the offering. Oh no, there's a compass, which is movement card. Um, and he's taking the compass, yeah, Scott takes the compass. It's a seven card hand limit, remember? Amundsen is playing his dog for a red card. He needs to get moving, move, move, move. Well, actually, Scott needs to get moving, so he's playing his compass. And the compass is if you are south or well that's actually north of the 85th parallel if you're, if you're on this side the compass will move you one step forward are you on this side the compass will move you one step back and you cannot go to the south pole with the compass in hand and you cannot discard it so he is grabbing the compass compass out Amundsen forward no Scott forward Amundsen oh he has a yellow one so well, why not? I just play it. Back to Scott. He has. Mm, he's going to grab this one. And now um, so only, all he can do is to take this card here from the offering. And now, well. Yeah, he has to do it. He has to. Scott is playing two crevasse cards. Crevasse. And that will throw Amundsen off track. He has lost his way. That's pretty dramatic. But he, luckily. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't remember, remember that. But luckily, he has a red one, so he's back on track. Ah. Okay. Well, Scott, he can play now his green footprints. Amundsen, he needs to draw. Scott. Mm. Amundsen, 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 Amundsen. The dog is always good. Scott. This. So this is a special card, when you play that on your opponent, the opponent is limited to only 5 hands, not 7. Ah, oh, he's practically giving it to Scott, which will happily take it, of course. Red dog for a movement. Uh -uh. Scott is playing his blue dog for movement also. And Amundsen needs a green card, he has a red. I'll drop that one and get these two. And yeah, now Scott is doing it. He is playing this five card hand limit on Amundsen. Amundsen has three cards. He'll play his green card though and move across the 85th. It's more weather coming up. Oh, it's Again, it's stable. Okay, this one, just in fear of Scott, when this one is discarded, the opponent has to drop all good weather cards and the corresponding wild card, so um, he will take that and Scott will get these two, and we need to replenish the offering. More compass, compass might be good or might be bad, depending on where you are. Yeah, he's, he's now, Scott is discarding this good weather card. That means he can take these two cards, but in the discard action he also gets to look at the top card here or draw that into his hand. If that doesn't kill his hand limit, and it doesn't. And if that card matches the color space he is to move into, he will then be able to do that for free. So if it's yellow, he will move. It's red, but he will get it. And it's back to Amundsen, which will play hit, oh, will refill here, of course. And Amundsen will... Play this one and draw these two cards. Scott needs to go now. He will play his compass. Amundsen. It's a red footprints card. 
Scott. If he only had two crevasses, he could play them. So instead, he will play a green footprint card. Maximum five, remember here. He'll play the yellow one and go across the 88. And that is the final weather. Let's see. Two, which is, oh, it's actually sunny. Each player gets to draw one card. So one for Amundsen and one for Scott. Now it's Scott's turn. Scott got a yellow crevasse card, but he will play his blue card. Go there and he will play two yellow cards to even out Amundsen's lead. And Amundsen, oh, look at this. Amundsen has, he only likes yellow in order to finish or green. Or, well, he can take the green, so we'll finish next round. Unless Scott can finish now. He can't. Scott can't even with a wild card and a green and a red. He likes a blue. So he will just discard this and take these two. Ah, uh, here it is, the wild card he needs. But now Amundsen has four different colors. Well, not really, but he has his dog, which will be, which he will say that is yellow and green and blue and red. So that's four cards and victory to Amundsen. I hope this playthrough gives um, the game a little bit more more justice, so you can see uh, how how easily and how fast it flows. So I'm not going back again because I did that already and I think I did that without any errors. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, leave comments, I'm happy to hear from you. Constructive criticism, positive feedback, please leave a comment and I see you next time.